Right, what's happening guys? So yesterday we got to the bottom of the pyramid, the weight loss pyramid or the Spartan pyramid as I call it, and we explained briefly what energy is, what it does, and how many calories are in our macronutrients per gram. So today we're gonna work on, or we're gonna go over why it is important, okay? So again, it's that energy in that and energy out principle that we're looking at. So, for instance, we're going to keep the numbers basic so we don't get a headache. If we look at, say, 2,000 is our maintenance level. So that 2,000 calories per day is what the body requires just to function, to think, to move, to do the robot dance, whatever the fuck it is you do every day. You have a requirement of energy, calories, to put into your body to function that way, okay? But to lose weight, we need to be in a deficit, okay? That energy deficit or that calorie deficit then we, that we create will then make the body or put it into a position where it's able to lose weight or burn fat, okay? So if you haven't consumed or had enough energy, then your body will then look at other sources. So fat cells, carbs, your glycogen stores, things like that to use and convert into energy and to help you move, help you function. So that deficit is how we are able to put ourselves in our position, like I just said. Okay, so 2,000 calories. If we're only tra training twice a week, guys, okay? A good training session is gonna burn around 500 calories, and that's being fucking kind, all right? It's very rarely you'll be able to burn more than that. If you do go above that, you're, you're on the verge of fucking ruining any of the information, but that, again, that's for another day. So if twice a week, we are doing 2,000 calories as standard. We're training twice a week. So two days out of seven, we're in a 500 calorie deficit, okay? So two days out of seven, we're in a position where our body can lose weight, okay? But there's seven days in a week, yeah? So this is where calories become important and we need to create that deficit every day to make sure that our bodies are in that position where they can help you lose weight. So, if we just drop our calories by 200 per day, so we drop down to 1,800, <coughs> excuse me, it's not a huge amount where we're gonna become tired and sluggish. It's just enough for our body to look at alternative sources of energy, so our fat cells, for instance, and start burning that to make us lose weight. Hopefully that makes sense. So, take them, so what do we do with the rest of the other days? If we want to create a deficit, it goes back, so it all just rolls into one big solution, really. If we're doing 10K steps per day, that gives us a 500 calorie deficit each day on top, okay? Or it burns 500 calories. So instead of just the two days, we can get seven out of seven, where we've created a large deficit, so a 500 calorie deficit. So two days training, 500 deficit each day. Uh, five days then, 10,000 steps, 500 each day deficit, which then makes us a good green tick in the box for seven days out of seven where our body is in that position to lose weight, okay? So that is why the calorie deficit is important. We need to put ourselves in a position where we can lose weight. Hope that makes sense. Questions, check them below. I'm off to the beach.